This is a Chinese name. The family name is Wu. Note. Names are in simplified characters followed by traditional and Binyin transliteration. Wu Yun, better known by his courtesy name Zixu, was a general and politician of the Wu Kingdom in the Spring and Autumn period. Since his death, he has evolved into a model of loyalty in Chinese culture. He is the best known historical figure with the Chinese family name Wu. All branches of the Wu clan claim that he was their first ancestor. The historical records of Wu are found in the famous Chinese classics. Historical records by Sima Qian, The Art of War by Sun Tzu, and the Annals of Valet Tilda One Fourth Bui. He is also mentioned in Gu Liang Zhuan and Kong Yang Zhuan. The accounts differ, showing the significant influence of folklore on his historical character. Wu Zixu was the second son of Wu Shi, the grand tutor of the crown prince Jian of the state of Chu. In 522 BCE, Fu Ji, a corrupt official was sent to Qin, to select a bride for the prince. King Ping of Chu received a princess from the state of Qin as a bride for his son, but decided to keep her for himself upon seeing her beauty. Fu Ji, having gained favor from the king, convinced King Ping that Wu Xi and the crown prince himself would start a rebellion due to the bride being from Qin, and persuaded the king to execute Wu Xi. Before his death, Wu Xi was forced, under duress, to send a letter to his sons, Wu Sheng and Wu Zixu which asked them to join him in the capital. While both realized that this was a trap, Wu Sheng decided to go to the capital to die with his father. Wu Zixu, promising revenge, fled to the state of Wu. Wu Zixu, along with Prince Jian's son, Prince Sheng, hoped to flee to the state of Wu. Wu Zixu, however, was a wanted man. He and the young prince were constantly pursued by soldiers. King Ping also ordered a very tight controls over the state's borders to catch Wu Zixu. As Wu Zixu approached Jiaguan, the last pass to the state of Wu, he sought the help of the physician Dong Gaogong, who recognized him as Wu Xi's son. Dong Gaogong felt deep sympathy for Wu Zixu's plight, and offered to help him escape across the border. According to legend, Dong Gaogong gave refuge to Wu Zixu in his home for a week. Under enormous stress, Wu Zixu's hair turned completely white, and his facial features aged greatly. The change was a blessing in disguise as Wu Zixu's arrest changed appearance helped him to escape, and head to the state of Wu. In the state of Wu, Wu Zixu became a trusted advisor of Prince Guang, and helped him assassinate his cousin King Lai Ao of Wu. Prince Guang ascended the throne, and was known as King Hela Tilda One Fourth of Wu. In 506 BCE, during the reign of King Zhao of Chu, King Hela Tilda One Fourth decided to invade Chu. The king personally led the army, along with his younger brother Fu Gai, Wu Zixu, as well as Sun Tzu, author of The Art of War. Although Chu had a strong army led by Nang Hua and Shen Yin Shu, it suffered a heavy defeat at the Battle of Boju. King Zhao of Chu fled to Sui and the Wu army captured Ying, Chu's capital. After entering Ying, Wu Zixu exhumed King Ping's corpse, and gave it 300 lashes to exact vengeance. The military victory led to Wu Zixu's elevation to Duke of Shen. Subsequently, he was known by the name of Sheng Zhu. Bo Pai, whose grandfather had also been unjustly killed in state of Chu, arrived in the state of Wu. Despite warnings about Bo Pai's character, Wu Zixu recommended him to the King of Wu, who made Bo Pai a minister. After the death of King Hela Tilda One Fourth, Wu Zixu did not earn the trust of Fu Chai, the new monarch of Wu. Wu Zixu saw the long-term danger of King Gaojian of Yu, and advised the king to conquer that state. The king, however, listened instead to Bo Pai, who had been bribed by the Yu state. Concerned with the safety of the kingdom, Wu Zixu pleaded with the king to take action against you but was ignored. The king gave Wu Zixu a sword and ordered him to commit suicide on the justification that his behavior amounted to sabotage. Before he committed suicide, Wu Zixu asked King Fu Chai to remove his eyes after his death and hang them on the city gate, 
so that he could watch the capture of the Wu capital by the Yu army.